All right. So to start with, I have done composer create package, um, create project level level Munch Express. So yeah, this is you know what we have as our folder name, and I have that already in my PHP Storm, right? And I have created a repository inside my GitLab account. This is a public repository which you can you know use to refer the code base. Now so far I haven't done anything. So let's first push our code onto GitLab, right? So what do we have? Um, CD into the folder git init, right? So yeah, I will do git init. Now Laravel comes with a nice git ignore so we can easily do git add dot which will add everything and it will respect all the git ignores where the vendor doesn't go and all things like that then i will do git commit i'll have a message in it project okay and now i will need to add the origin so that git knows whenever i am pushing the code where am i supposed to send the code base so yeah i do git re remote add origin and then git push origin to master and if everything is well i have a master branch in here yes and this is my default application laravel 5.7 that's the latest version right now and why don't we quickly remove everything from here and we will plan out our documentation so this is work in progress okay um i have a shortcut which is wip which will commit everything and uh, write a message work in progress so i'll do that it should commit these changes and i should be able to view that in my commits yeah and the repository should show this blank work in progress readme so yeah i think you know we have our initial setup um the application is running on port 8000 right um i have a database i have created a database in sklite munch express so let's start setting up things okay i'll go into my dot env file username is root password can be blank okay and yep i think php artisan migrate i have these um tables right um i'll need auth make right make auth always get confused right so this will ensure that i have registrations and login in place although we will you know later on disable registrations because we don't want um, auto registration inside our application um, but anyways so yeah we have users table we need to create some default users so why don't we go into database seeds and if we see it expects a users table so we will create that i have a shortcut for php artisan which is pa so i'll use that pa make cedar um, users sorry table cedar 
and then I can uncomment it and go directly here right okay now we will create one user oops yeah I think this should be fine so um, PHP artisan DB seed right we have a user let's ensure that we are able to log in oh yes I have made changes to the ENV and I haven't um, relaunched the application which is wrong so login again oops why is this happening okay so yeah we have a successful login so this is so far what whatever we have done is you know plain laravel out of the box we haven't you know made any customizations whatsoever just we have added the cedar and up next i think i will use mail trap for sending out emails but um yeah before that why don't we you know get some idea about you know, what are the things that we are going to you know develop so ideas.txt i'll create a blank file in here and let us look at what things we have we will have you know admin users who can create more you know users which are primarily owners of restaurants okay and then the users these you know owners so let's call this owners right so and let's call them admins right so admins admin create owners of restaurants okay uh, owners and then they create the restaurants uh, they can be multiple okay so we will need to ensure that we have that you know kind of a data structure and then there will be menus to each restaurants um, i would assume that a uh, owner will have uh, you know one or two kinds of menus and he will keep them um, and then he will maybe he will switch between them you know uh, some for maybe you know home delivery some for ac pricing some non-ac pricing things like that right and obviously because the owner will need to track orders he will add tables and uh, you know uh, it's a convention which they will use to understand what order is being uh, you know, served in which table right then obviously the tables will have orders and uh, on a separate note we will also have customer details you know not every customer may you know share their details but yeah there are certain kinds of customers which we can say they are returning customers they may give feedbacks and the restaurant owners may want to have those valuable information so yeah i think um, we can start with this now obviously i will not start from the top because then we will be doing a lot of boilerplate code which is boring you know i'll create certain uh, crud pages for adding roles and users and whatnot but that is something we know which we can do later on the most important thing i would assume is you know to handle this area right which is let's just separate them out so we will do this later we can also you know tackle this later now these are important things and orders orders will need to be 
associated with a table, right? And uh, tables will need a menu item. So I think um, although menus need a restaurant, we can hard code it. And let's start with a simplistic approach where you know we will create the menu first, right? The module to have menus which is related to a restaurant and it will have uh, let's say you know things like the name of the dish the price of the dish it will have a description and maybe an image to upload right and um, it will have it and there will be certain other things which are you know required for example another restaurant id the type and um, certain other kinds of things so yeah we will handle them uh, but yeah this is you know initially what we will start with so in the next video we will um, work on our menu module thanks for watching guys if you like this series and if you like my videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel